Hi everyone, so James MTI here, how you stay? Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Level S. Last time round, we got a magic key and we did it. Um, in between the episodes, I did upgrade my second Falcon Blade to plus three, so that I... Eric had attacked four times with plus three Falcon Blades. I upgraded the Banshee Blade to plus three as well, so it's now technically better than the, the, uh, the weapon that we had, so... And uh, in this episode, we're actually, uh, we're actually going to go in to Sniffleheim, this place that we've been to tons of times. All the rabbits are blocking my way. But we couldn't actually go in until now, because now we have the magic key. seem natural at all. Mm. This may be the Crystal Kingdom, but it shouldn't be frozen solid, cold winter or no. We'd better take a look around. Alright. Yes, even the, the even the horse. Horses are cold. So, there are actually a few uh, hidden spots here we can get. First off, we can get this, which is a handful of perma snow. Is that snow that's permanent? I guess it is. Uh, we jump across here, and we break this barrel. We get a cow pack. On down here is another barrel, wreck it. For a seed of deafness. I just realized that there is actually an item that I missed outside, but it's fine, I'll get up. I'll get up there. Talk to this person. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. You gave me a fright. I hadn't expected to see travelers in town. Finally, someone who hasn't been turned into a block of ice. Can you tell us what happened here? Hmm. Well. It all began three months ago. It was a bright, sunny day, just like any other, when suddenly a strange shadow filled the sky. It was a witch. Oh, a witch? My goodness! That sounds like something from a fairy tale. Just so, she chanted an ancient incantation. And just like that, the town was engulfed in a ferocious snowstorm. The wind took my breath clean away, and before I knew it, I had fainted. And when I awoke, all was frozen. I was the only one spared. It's almost as if there's a movie about this. Witch to freeze this whole city with a single spell. I wish I could help, but all this ice is more than my magic can melt. <sighs> By the way, Missy, that symbol in your shawl, is that not... Oh, forgive me. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I am Frisabeth, Queen of Sniffelheim. You're the queen. So, does that mean the old king is... I'm afraid so. My father passed away last year. 
Oh, I've only been in charge these few months, and just look at my kingdom. Whatever am I going to do? It looks like Sniffleheim's in a bit of a sticky situation. I suppose now isn't a good time to ask about the orb. An orb? What kind of orb? Why, the big blue ball that's been handed down in your family for generations, lassie. The truth be told, we need to borrow it. <gasps> oh, oh, of course. You would be welcome to borrow it, but I'm afraid it is locked up tight inside the castle, which is locked up tight inside the ice. Well, that's just perfect. So if we don't find a way to melt that ice, we'll never get our hands on the orb. Hmm. Maybe if we got rid of that wicked witch, it might break her spell. I thought just the same thing. Why, only a few days ago, a band of soldiers from a faraway land came here to investigate what was happening. I sent them out to try and find the witch and fight her, but I haven't seen them since. Well, we can't very well leave them out in the cold. Let's go and give those soldiers a hand and bring spring back to Sniffleheim, shall we? My sure. poor people. What kind of hero are you? Playing with the poor girl's Oops, feelings I like picked, that. I pressed B. I'll ask you again. And this time, you'll answer <laughs> properly. Well, we can't very well leave them out in the cold. Well, I think you all thought how to pick no one time. Hand ...and bring spring back to Sniffleheim, shall we? But I must. Oh, thank you, thank you. I think you were off one time. Even if it was an accident. I swear it was an accident. A haunted forest far to the north of the snow. I accidentally pressed B. <laughs> Be very, very wary. For the witch does not live in the woods alone. She keeps a fierce, magical beast to guard against intruders. Aye. We'll be sure to keep an eye out. Thanks for the warning, lassie. Aye, right, come on, boys and girls. Let's head over to the Hexwood. <laughs> Alright. And before we go out, there's actually one more item to grab. That's right over here. That's another handful of purpose snow. That's all the items we can get here for now. Let's get out of here. Now, unfortunately, we can't go out the front door because that would be too convenient. Anytime we have to enter in here, we do have to actually go around. <laughs> but it's fine. At least you don't have to click. Oh, you use the magic key in the door every single time. At least that's a thing. So yeah, the item I missed was actually here all the time. Along these barrels. And it's a magic beast hide. Alright. So now we're going to the snare felt. There's a few items here. We're gonna grab. And there's big massive bears here. For obvious reasons, we're in a snow area. Yeah, this is, I guess this is the obligatory ice level in every RPG. And it has one. Alright, so our first port call is this little house. In it, we get a mini metal. Up 
right here. Right this. Yeah, platinum ore, silver ore, and another platinum ore. Over here, right in front of us, is a sparkly pot. I'm gonna grab it. For our pot of uh, progress stone. Over here, this little alcove. Is a sparkly spot. It's very difficult to see, but it's there. That's another platinum ore. This tree, bash it. Or the arbor branch, harvest snow, and sparkly sap. Over here, there's a treasure chest sitting right here. And we get a seed of sorcery. Pretty good. All the way over here is a cup branch. Cut it. For some blossom. Two silk blossoms and a glimmer glass. Alright, so you probably want to go on to the south bit here. Because there's two ways to go into the Snuffleheim region here. This first way is probably the better way you want to go because uh because yeah you can get all the items here. Alright, so our first item is actually over here on top of this ledge. It's a chunk of mirror stone. Mirror stone. Uh. Alright, and you can see here there's a block of ice. We actually need a monster ride to uh, break through it. I believe you, can, you don't need to break through it more than once. But here's our monster that we need. Now, you're probably going to say here, Never in doubt. I feel I don't need to say it, but most enemies here are weak to fire, Goodness. because it's a nice area. I feel I don't need to say that, but just in case it wasn't clear, most of the enemies here are weak to fire. So, use it. Use fire. Alright, so... With this, we can actually charge. And with that, we can actually break free. Oh. Okay, here we are they go. enemies? I don't even see the enemies. These are slime sickles. Yeah, that 
was a big fire. Thank you. Where we want to grab our thing. Platinum ore. Blue eye. And our platinum ore. Alright, so if we go up here. Chest. Containing a mini middle. correctly. Do I break through this? Bash that tree. Ah, darn. Over here is the spark with what? Reverse though. And you want a drop down here? And this is actually technically an end. So you want to go in. Because, let me put this guy. Ours outside. So there should be a chest here. Ah, here it is. Alright, side. Super cool kit. One of rings, chipper sticks. I actually want a uh, climb back up here again. There's some more items I missed. Which I probably should have got first before dropping down, but the game's just not sensible. Ok, 
guys, our first chest is right here. Anti freeze earrings. Did I not get those? Stop. Can we get glimmer glass? And something awesome. Alright, so now we can actually proceed where we're meant to go. All the way back down here. Oh, I forgot to equip... Mm. That's fine. Alright, you wanna... Definitely wanna make a campfire. Definitely want to do that. Let's check if I actually did actually... Accidentally buy the, uh... The, uh... Anti-freeze air eggs. Yeah, Dad. I'm outside. Just see some stuff, is it? Yeah, just see some stuff. Uh, I do want to see that actually before I uh, check the. Uh, Before I check the uh, forge. Oh, that actually might be good. I just want the normal one for that then. I don't know what else I showed off, but... Uh... Usually I just go all right. Because that's plus zero, but you still get the perfection pearls for it. Which is what you want. Wow, so that can... Okay, so that's a single enemy. 
grip of enemies, fire, grip of enemies with ice. And we also have the grip of enemies with uh, fire as well. I wonder if I should probably should probably sell the wizard staff then. So I have the cautery sword, which basically is fire for all. I think I probably will then sell that. I feel like I don't need that anymore. <laughs> Zeta, I, I, I do have the uh, the cautery sword, which is just grip of enemies, blazing fire, which is better than a single target. It's fire. Yeah, I think I, I think I will sell that. Hello, Veronica can use it, can't she? Yeah, so I'll give it for I'll give it to Veronica for now. Save it. All right, so uh, this actually wasn't the way to go. Fun fact, Joy. This was not the way to go. I wanted to uh, register this place as a campsite. So that, that was a fun fact, Joy. This was not the way to go. Luckily, I still have the, the thing to charge. Alright, so we're going up to the Hexwood. Alright, this place is uh, kind of confusing, but again, we do have a map to help us. First off, spark me spot. Or an other branch. Another sparkly spot. The platinum ore. Getting a bunch of those now. Run across the ice. I suppose I did this place of was this game of ice physics? No. This game does not have ice physics. I'm glad this game does not have ice physics. Because ice physics, generally speaking, in games are um, bad. Other other branch? Up the chest? Seed of Agility! Pretty good. If you ask me. Run down here. Careful as we go, but we can actually run across this.
Okay, so it does have slight ice physics. But we do get platinum prediction. Get platinum platters and platinum shields. We're going to across up here. This is our spot. To grab for a Lucia shard. And a treasure chest of a Sage's Elixir. That restores like all MP or something like that. It's pretty good. Uh, you want to go over here for uh, a mining spot? Grab. Oh. Another platinum ore. Gold ore. And a blue eye. Head up this way. And we get a safe spot. Save it. Because we are coming up to a boss. And we probably will end up doing this boss, because this is a very unique boss. As I will uh, show off momentarily. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Let's see this. Part comes separate at the snowstorm. Okay. Walk forward on our own. Can't even run. Keep me from the witch beast! Yield! The Darkspawn... here? How could I be so foolish? We have Jor Jorman. He has about 800 HP. Make him at level 30. We are level 30, so that's fine. We are on our own. Cutting edge him. <laughs> that, that's, that's the plan. Be careful of that.
Yeah, so luckily he can, like, he lowers his defense, but raises his attack, so bosh him. Might just do a normal attack here. There we go, that's enough. You have served your mistress well, but your day is done. Now it is your turn, Darkspawn. You will not escape me this time! Um, fight that. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what a pleasure to finally meet you, Sir Hendrik. Is this your doing? Nothing personal, my pretty. But I promised the one who released me that I'd freeze you in your tracks. <laughs> what a lovely little trinket. It's just like his. We shall make such a captivating couple. Matching necklaces and all. What? Oh, more questions. You so-called heroes are nothing but talk. It's time to put you two on ice forever. Not if I have anything to do with it! <laughs> nice to do, Ken, Veronica. Away! Are you all right? <sighs> well, now, Sir Hendrik, you'll be in charge of this party of foreign soldiers we heard about, the ones Queen Frisabel sent. Leaving so soon. Sure you don't want to round us up and throw us in jail. Oh, I will. All in good time. Huh? Hi. Uh, oh. uh, he's freezing cold. That spell must have really taken its toll. We passed a hut on the way here. Let's carry him there. How'd you carry me in my heavy ass? Never mind. Leave or attempt to leave. Ah, so you are finally awake. Are you feeling better, friend? Sure. Good, good. You have your companions to thank for that. Such caring comrades are a rare gift. Ah. Uh. Ah, but forgive me, I have not introduced myself. I am Snorri, scholar of the arcane arts. I came here to investigate the origins of the Wicked Witch, who froze Sniffleheim solid. 
It was luck, and luck alone, that caused me to be away from the city when she first appeared. Or I, too, would have been turned into an icy statue. Your friends tell me the Queen has asked you to eliminate the sorceress. If it will help you in your quest, I will be happy to share what I have learned. The witch's name is Kristalinda. Long ago, in the Age of Heroes, a mighty mage imprisoned her within the pages of an enchanted grimoire. The book was hidden away was near? in the Royal Library, an ancient archive built by the founders of Sniffelheim to house the combined knowledge of all humankind. Having learned this, I tried to go and see the book for myself. Alas, the library was swarming with monsters, and I was forced to retreat. Oh, hello. Up and about, are you? Thank goodness for that. Indeed. You are well on the way to recovery thanks to your young friend here. It is plain to see that Veronica cares for you very deeply. Put a sock in it, Snorri! <laughs> there is no need to be embarrassed, my dear. Anyway, your timing is perfect. I had just finished telling your friend all I had learned about the witch. I'll get straight to the point, then. We're taking Snorri here back to the library so he can look for clues on how to beat her. It is high on a plateau to the east of here, but we must make our way around to the south before we can reach it. Shall we? We shall. Next time. Because <laughs> that is what, how we're going to end this episode. So, next time on Dragon Quest XI S, we will actually go to where we're meant to go, the Royal Library. This place, if I remember correctly, this place is long. This place is long, but we'll, we'll do it, we'll get to it. So, that's what we'll do next time on Dragon Quest XI S. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a comment, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Become part of my community, which is good, follow me for all. Well, so, of course.